Hello and welcome to Bendigo Weekly's weekly update video on the new Bendigo Hospital redevelopment. Today we thought we'd look at heritage and the areas of significance that will be retained in the new Bendigo Hospital development. A heritage survey undertaken as part of the uh, redevelopment plan has identified the boundary walls around both sites, the front fence, main entrance and central driveway of the existing main hospital site, the former Modesty House on Stewart Street near the ED, the old mortuary nearby and the former Lancel Laboratory building on Arnold Street will remain. On the current Allied Health site, which will soon be home to the main acute site, there are two significant structures that will remain. The magnificent Anne Cordell Centre, probably the hospital's most recognisable building, will be kept, although it will be significantly redeveloped inside. Also, the concert hall behind will remain. The boundary wall and fences of the main site are an important part of the hospital's history. An 1865 etching shows what appears to be a boundary wall or fence running alongside the rear Stewart Street boundary of the site behind the hospital central block near where the ED is now. Timber fence and gates were also constructed across the front which is the Lucan Street boundary and then a bequest from George Drury in 1885 funded the replacement of the timber fence and gates with the existing metal fence and entrance along Lucan Street. William Barland undoubtedly designed these elements. The brick boundary wall along Arnold Street was built at the same time as the Lunacy Ward in 1908. It is uncertain when the remaining boundary walls were built, but it was most likely between 1880 and 1910. Works will be undertaken also to the brick wall in a number of locations to reinstate missing sections, including at the southern end of Bain Street and Arnold Street on Lucan Street. Modesty House was built in 1891. Uh, to accommodate the hospital's officers and servants. It, uh, minor alterations uh, and additions have been uh, undertaken uh, in 1964 and 1974, and the building currently accommodates some of the hospital's admin staff. That will remain. The famous mortuary was built in 1887 and replaced an earlier morgue on the hospital site. It's not been used as a morgue for many years, uh, but it, in recent years it was used as a museum and an archive for some of the hospital's records. A plaque on the uh, building re records that it was designed by W.C. Varland yet again and restored in 2003. The Lancel Lab building will also remain. Mrs. George Lancel and her son, the Honourable G.V. Lancel, donated £3,000 towards the construction of a purpose-built Commonwealth clinic and lab in 1927. The establishment of the clinic and lab was promoted, uh, prompted by the 1920 Commonwealth Government investigation into the high prevalence of respiratory disease in the Bendigo area, but these services were relocated to the larger and purpose-built Lancel Laboratory building on the Bendigo Hospital site in 1928. It is currently the home of the Centre for Rural Mental Health, and part of the plans are to remove the infill between the arches.